You must have seen many equipments like fans, air coolers or water pumps in your homes. Did you ever wonder how these equipments work? We understood the principle behind the glowing of the electric bulb and the role of electricity in it. But what happens when this electricity flows into a fan and it starts rotating? We have heard this most often that there is a motor inside the fan which helps it in rotating. Now the question arises, what exactly is there inside this motor? In today's video, we'll get to learn about the equipment which is known as an electric motor along with its principle and working closely. Electric motor does not rotate when electric current flows through it only, but it rotates when electric current flowing through a conductor is placed in the magnetic field. If you look at the cross section of this motor, then loads of wire and magnets can be seen. Let us understand its working closely. If a rectangular coil ABCD is placed in a magnetic field and the ends of the coil are connected with the source of the electricity, the electric current starts flowing through the coil when we put on the switch. If we apply Fleming's left hand rule on the arm AB of the coil, then we get the direction of the force exerted on this arm by the magnet. We know that the direction of the magnetic field is from north to south. Also, the current is flowing in this direction on arm AB, then the force will be exerted downwards. What will happen if we apply the same rule on the arm CD of the coil? The current is flowing in the outward direction on CD, then the force will be exerted in the upwards direction. If you look into the motion done due to force acting on both the arms of the coil, it starts rotating. After half cycle, A, B and C, D will interchange their positions and the direction of current would also get changed in both the arms. Does this make any sense? Have you ever seen any fan or cooler that rotates in one direction for some time and then changes its direction? No, both of them keep rotating in one direction only. Then what exactly are we missing in the motor to keep it rotating in one direction only? Split ring. Split ring is introduced in the system to keep the rotation in one direction only. Split ring is a special kind of ring which has two halves. The ends of the coil are connected with these halves which are then connected to the circuit with the help of carbon brushes which helps to keep the flow of electric current in one direction only in the circuit. Also the force acted on the arms AB and CD will help the motor to keep rotating in one direction by changing its direction. Let's see this for the second time. When the current flows through the circuit, then a force acts on the arm AB and CD in downwards and upwards direction respectively. After half the cycle, the force acted on CD and AB in downwards and upwards direction respectively and the cycle repeats itself. Commonly in electric motors, electromagnets are used in place of magnets. Electromagnets can be formed by putting a soft iron core in the coil. This we have already covered in a previous video. Electric motor is used in fans, water pumps, air cooler, grinder, mills and in huge industries. Remember we said that Fleming's left hand rule is a really important rule in physics. Today we proved the hypothesis too. Hope you have understood the concept behind the working of the motor. If not then don't worry, just rewind this video again. 